boiling point of hydrogen bromide is minus 67 degrees centigrade. And the boiling point of hydrogen iodide is minus 34 degrees centigrade. And we can explain the difference in these boiling points down to the strength of the bonds or interactions. And for this question, we need to identify which bonds or interactions are responsible for the higher boiling point of hydrogen iodide. So hydrogen bromide and hydrogen iodide, are both non-metal based compounds. And we know the formula of each of these as HBr for hydrogen bromide and HI for hydrogen iodide. And this is because for both of these, we've got a simple molecular structure. And this is where we've got strong covalent bonds within the molecule. So for example, between the hydrogen and the bromine, we've got a covalent bond or between the hydrogen and the iodine. But between the different molecules, we've got weak intermolecular forces. Therefore, when we want to boil our molecules, we're going to be separating them out. So we're going to be overcoming the intermolecular forces of attractions to do that. Therefore, our answer can't be A, because when we're boiling our compounds, we're not breaking the covalent bonds. We're just separating out the different molecules. Now, we've got hydrogen bromide and hydrogen iodide, and neither the bromine nor the iodine is electronegative enough to form hydrogen bonds. Therefore, we can eliminate option B. And what we do know is that both of these compounds have permanent dipole-dipole and induced dipole-dipole interactions. But our iodine is further down in group seven. Therefore, it's got weaker permanent dipole-dipole interactions, which does not explain why it's got a higher boiling point than hydrogen bromide. If it's got weaker permanent dipole-dipole interactions, we would expect it to have a lower boiling point, so it requires less energy to overcome. Therefore, it must be our induced dipole-dipole interactions that explain why we've got a higher boiling point. And it's because the iodine is further down in the periodic table, therefore it's got a larger number of electrons, hence it's got stronger induced dipole-dipole interactions between the molecules.